I'm Leif Hansen here in the Betty Crocker Kitchens, where great cakes are designed every day. Here's a neat trick for your Halloween party. Your guests will never believe that you made this adorable jack-o'-lantern cake. Let me show you how it's done. Are you wondering where the pumpkin-shaped cake pan is hiding? Here's the trick and the treat. The cake bakes right in this bowl. This is just a regular oven-proof casserole, and you're going to need two of these to make the round shape. So to remove it, just flip it over. You can flip it onto another pan, or if you're comfortable, just use your hand to hold it. And then just trim it so that it's level. I'm using a serrated knife. Place your hand on top and use a gentle sawing action. I like to cut all the way around and then work my way into the center. And then just set aside the extra. You can snack on it later. So I have another one already cut. Now we're going to get our frosting. And I've pre-tinted it orange. You're going to need about two-thirds of a cup for the filling. And then use your spatula. I'm using an offset spatula. The offset angle makes it easy to spread the frosting. But if you don't have one, you can just use a regular butter knife. And the reason we're putting this on is just so that the top layer will stick to it. So we're going to invert the top layer. And now you have a nice round shape. What I'm going to do now is called a crumb coat. It's basically a thin layer of frosting that covers the entire cake. And this seals in any crumbs that might appear in your final coat. And again, it doesn't matter what it looks like right now, because we are going to do a final coat where we put the pattern and the texture in. So you can smooth it out the rest of the way with your spatula if you like, and get it as smooth as possible. But I'm going to show you a nice trick. I use a little strip of wax paper, OK? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down to the bottom, and it's going to curve to the side of the cake. And then I pull up and over. And it makes it nice and smooth. And then you can just scrape it off on the side of the bowl and go to the next part. So just go all the way around the cake in this manner. And if you want, you can just take your offset spatula again and just clean off that top there. So now I'm going to chill it. I'm going to place it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Now this is fully chilled, we're going to do the final coat of frosting. Take a nice size scoop and put it right on top. And then we're going to start to spread it. Again, you don't have to worry about what it looks like right now. You just want to cover the entire cake with the frosting. A nice thick layer is good. Err on the side of having too much rather than too little. At this point, I'm going to switch to a small offset spatula. It'll help to get into those tight spots. Now that you have the cake fully coated, we're going to go ahead and make the ridges. And to do that, scrape off your spatula, start at the bottom, and just pull straight up towards the center using the middle of the spatula. Rotate a little bit, and again, pull up the next one. So now that we've finished frosting, if you want, you can come back and using your offset spatula, just scrape off some of the frosting that hit the bottom of the plate. So now let's decorate. That's the fun part. I have some fruit snack rolls here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut them into the shapes of the eyes and the vines. And it's a great thing for kids to do if you want to help. They can make their own scary faces, or you can do it for them, either way. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut some little strips. And these will be the vines. They're about a quarter inch wide. And one thing you can do if you want to make them really nice is you can wrap them around a dowel, and then you can slide that off, and it sort of holds its form. And now I'm going to cut out some leaves. Basically, they're just almond shapes. Then we're going to go ahead and start applying them to the cake. I already have a smile cut out, a little grin. Then we're just going to stick it right to it, pressing down lightly to make it adhere. And a nose. And we're going to stick on some eyes. And for the stalk, we're going to use a green ice cream cone. Just cut off the bottom edge of it so it's not so tall. And now we're going to place the vines just randomly around the top. And for the leaves, you can just pinch it a little bit at the top, and it gives it a little more curvature and dimension. And you can just stick those in as well. And there you are. Now Jack has a friend. See, there's nothing scary about making this cake, except for maybe some creepy crawlies. Happy Halloween. I'm Leif Hansen, here in the Betty Crocker Kitchens. Look for more great baking tips and special occasion ideas at BettyCrocker.com. <laughs>